In this week's video tech tip, we're going to show you how to create sheet metal components in SOLIDWORKS. To get started, you have a choice to make. You can either start with a base flange and grow your sheet metal component from there, or draw a 3D shape and convert it into a sheet metal component. We're going to showcase both techniques. First, using the base flange technique. So I'm on the sheet metal ribbon, I click base flange, and it's going to ask me to start sketching on a particular plane. I'll draw that shape there and hit exit. And now this is the sheet metal interface. I have a gauge table. I can pick, say for example, this sample aluminum table that I have, define a particular gauge, maybe 18 gauge. And there we go. Now that's my base. Notice now I have a cut list and sheet metal features here. And I'll continue adding to my sheet metal component. I'll use the edge flange technique then to just click on edges and grow up a particular size. I think that's good, just like that. And if you're not happy with the way the corners are, you can go ahead and add a corner relief. Two bend or three bend. And collect all the corners, circular, and add a little bit of relief to them. And just like that, we have our flat sheet metal component. Now, how would I do that the other technique? Well, a way to make that is by converting your 3D shape. So here, again, I'll start with a rectangle, but this time I'll extrude it. I'll add a thickness to it, and this is my overall shape now. And what I'll use is my sheet metal convert to sheet metal component. With this feature, I pick a face, and then I say, okay, I'm gonna bend up here, 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 and here. It rips all the edges necessary to create that. I'll use the same sample table and choose the appropriate gauge. Thickness, and there we go. Again, this got me to that point where I have the shape and I use the exact same functionality here like I did before. Add my relief to it. And here's my flatten. And then from this, I can continue on and add whatever I want, right? Hems, hems are good. Add some stiffness to the top. There we go. How about this flatten now? So that is two ways to get started with sheet metal. Once you get started, it's then very easy to add all of the different sheet metal functions using these sheet metal tools. But the key here was how to get started. You start with a base flange and then grow your sheet metal component, or you can start with a typical 3D shape that you're used to in SOLIDWORKS and then convert that into a sheet metal component and then go from there. So there's two ways to get started with using sheet metal in SOLIDWORKS.